Generic greetings and welcome to Construction Plus Prison Architect Alpha 31 Episode 4. In the previous episode, we got most of the basics up in the prison. So as you can see, we've got a total of 20 capacity because we've got 20 cells. We've got a shower, we've got a, a parole room, which, uh, yeah, needs a visitor table. I can just, 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 I'll just resolve that right now. Um... There we go. Easy enough. Uh, we've got holding cell, visitation chapel, which, again, I need to resolve. But the basics are here. Obviously, canteen and kitchen, all of that sort of thing. Uh, morgue, because I think that's definitely uh, a room that we're going to need. But, yeah, that's all up and running. In this episode, I'm going to be doing a little bit of building around here and then getting prisoners in. So I'm going to get prisoners probably in about the next five or so minutes. So let's just go down the bottom here. We're going to go to rooms and then to... Our, where is it? I can't find the room that I'm looking for. It is laundry, and I haven't unlocked it because I haven't got prison there. But right, back to the bureaucracy tab then. And we'll check that one out. And we need to do a bit of the old prison labor. There we go. It's called prison labor, but it's not actually prison labor because the... <sighs> It's weird because the janitors can actually work in that, so... Uh, anyway, let's go for pa uh, pa patrols as well for the security. Uh, micromanagement, we can. That's food logistics and deployment scheduler, which we never really used, actually. Uh, reform program scheduler as well. Mm, actually, you know what? I don't think I really need micromanagement at the moment. There's per permanent punishment we don't really want. Armory we certainly do want, and I think we'll get that now. Right, so, there we go. Let me just go to our foundation and then building concrete, and what I'm going to do is put in the building around the, uh, around the top here. This is going to be our... I guess it would be our maximum... No, it's, it's our death row facility, this bit, up, this bit up here. It's our death row facility, and that is uh, not long enough. Now it is officially long enough. Right, and we'll put a jail door on the front there. Yes, these are our death row prisoners. We can have a maximum of uh, six death row prisoners. Now, the thing is, I've been told... <clears throat> excuse me. I've been told that uh, you can actually... Basically, the death row prisoners don't ever leave the cells, and I, I knew about this. However, I've also been told that um, they do actually get visitors, so they might be able to go to visitation, but I'm not too sure how accurate that statement is. So, we will have to see. What I'm going to do is build along the plan that I originally set out when I well, planned it in episode one, and then see what happens. Obviously, we can get prisoners in and see if that works or not. I know we don't need a shower. Uh, I did do a little bit of research on that, and, uh, well, as far as I know, we don't need a shower. So we can change this room to a security room or whatever. We could even change it to a visitation. Only problem with that is that the um, the people visiting would have to go through a massive, uh, well, basically a risky, it's a bit of a risky business going through all of this, but we'll see how it goes. It's all planned out so that you cannot get access to visitation and such. Uh, just just by going here, so the, the prisoners don't really have to go through um, this area, so that's always like a bit of a dead zone in that sense. But anyway, we'll see what happens. I'm just going to go to objects and then to altar. I'm going to put an altar, I guess, uh, see I always make these rooms functional rather than um, looking good, but we'll put an altar, I guess, uh, so I could just put it in the corner, like that, you know, it doesn't really matter where, I guess we'll put the altar there, and then we also need some pews. Which we could put, um, like, just benches at the back. <laughs> just put them like benches. Yeah, I don't know which is the right way. It would be that way, I guess. Yeah, that way. So we'll put one and two in. And then we need to put some uh, prayer mats, which we can just put mm, in the back here. Like that. There's some prayer mats. Actually, we'll cancel them two pews off because... They're a bit dodgy where they are. We'll put one, two, three. There we go. That's a bit better. Right. Fantastic. Okay. So, whoa. <laughs> yeah, that is actually a, a, a big load of building there. Right. Okay. So, that's sorted. Run power in it, like so. And obviously, this is the death row part of the prison. And then we'll connect the power grid up like that. Fantastic. Okay. Um, obviously, this is um, end of the line prison, uh, so to speak, because this is going to be where we have death row and things like that. So it's going to be, yeah, a bit risky that one to get all that sorted. Also, a little bit edgy. So we'll see what happens as we progress on. But yes, eventually, we will be pulling switch, which is going to be. Um, 
eventful at least. What I'm going to do is just finish off the canteen because it's something that I want to get up and running. It's it's the thing you always use, right? You always use the canteen, so I might as well get it up and running before anything else. So I think we'll go for some phone booths as well up like that, so we'll sort that out. We've got enough money, 35,530 uh, generic units of currency, so more than enough. We've still got the long-term investment going, cell block B's on there, and we've got security procedure, which is high-ten guards and assign guards to patrol routes, which I do actually have, so we'll go to guard patrols, and we're actually going to set a guard patrol around the tables and chairs in the kitchen. It's not really chairs, is it? It's um, benches, there we go, but we'll assign that. And then we will also assign a guard to each of these... Um, I guess it will be sort of sell. Uh, do I want to do that? It's a bit problematic, that one, because I can't really join these up. When I join them up like that, it becomes one patrol route, I believe. I'll try and see what happens. Let's see what happens. So there's them people assigned. Will that keep going straight ahead? No, they're actually going around it. Nope, no, they have gone straight ahead. Okay, so yeah, I thought that might be a bit of an issue there. So what I'm going to have to do is actually just shrink these down, cancel that bit off like that, and have them instead walk down the side of it. So we'll just uh, redo that. There we go. And the grant is uh, starting and stopping constantly. There we go. In fact, what we'll do, we'll just put it down so it's, like, all the way around like that. Yeah, boy. Yeah, that'll do us quite nicely. Okay. Uh, oh, I need to finish the bottom bit off there. It's, it's telling that big black writing there. Assign guards to patrol routes. Yes, I've done it about 50,000 times. I think I'm aware how that uh, functions now. But I guess it's uh, good for people that don't know how it works. Right. There are the guards assigned. That's fantastic. I think I'm going to go to staff and then two guards and go one, two, three, four, five. And then that's ten guards in total, which means we've completed our grant. And we just go to reports and then to our grants. And we could do... Governmental security rating, arm guards and such, and... Yep, we're going to be going for that eventually, so we might as well get it now. Okay, I've paused it for the moment because I want to... Prob What's happened there? That's a bit of a shadow glitch, isn't it? That's a bit weird. Right, I want to get this building sorted over here. This is going to be where we have an armory at the back, like that. And what I might even do, this is what someone suggested, is um, even split up that room as well. Just because if we do need people going around there, we don't want a full section that's uh, staff only. So I will. I think that's a good idea. One of the, one of the suggestions for the comments there. I've been waiting to implement that. Right, let us get the... It would be... What would it be? It wouldn't be security. It's... Um, Solitary, that's the one, that's the one. We're getting our solitary up as well as protective custody cells. This one at the back um, is something or other. I can't, I can't remember what that one is. I, I, when I built all this, you see, when I normally build a prison, I build it in a very, in my mind, logical, a uh, very logical order. So I can easily look at it and go, yeah, that goes there. But this, because it was such a weird design, um, it's very, very confusing. <laughs> I look at it and go, yeah, I, I, I hang on, what, what, what was that supposed to be? I don't know. Um, right, it's actually getting close to 8 o'clock. So what I'm, what I'm actually going to do is go to staff. I'm going to go to cooks. I'm going to hire two more cooks. I'm going to go to objects. And I think I'm going to put... Some more cookers in. Some more fridges in. What's our power grid like? Ah, that's problematic. Um, okay, I think I'm going to blow the grid up. I could cancel the uh, the placement of that, but uh, whatever, it'll be fine. I'll just have to turn the power back on. Let me just place all these here, and then hopefully we will have enough workers to get on with it. In fact, you know what? I, I don't fancy blowing the grid up. Let me just cancel all of these... Cancel them. Yes, we don't want... We don't want that. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to go to reports, I want to go to prisoners, and I... Oh, intake, rather. And I want to get some uh, intake on. So, max sec. I did say I wanted to do a bit of a test on this one and see if we can uh, <clears throat> get some low-risk prisoners in to start with. But you know what? I think I'm just going to bring in... 
I think I'm just going to bring the max sec in. So, I'm going to bring in a total of five prisoners just for this one moment, right? Just so we can test out and then see what happens, okay? So, there we go. We're going to bring some prisoners in. I do want to go to our regime and have some sort of regime. So, we will have a bit of a sleep until... I reckon, say, five, and then we'll go for a shower, and then we'll have one, two hours of free time, and then we'll have some eat, one, two, and then free time up until five and six, and then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, yes, and then I think we will have some yard time. Do we have some yard time right in the center? Some actual designated yard time? We could do that. We could, we could also have lockup as well, which we've never really done. It's one of the things I've never really bothered to uh, do, have lockup. Mm, could say just lock up like that. Have four hours of lockup. And then sleep from there onwards. So two hours of free time, hour of eight. An hour of free time, four hours of lockup. Then a bit of free time. Two more eats, then a little bit more free time at the end. Problem with that is that they're not going to... Hmm. They're not really going to do visitation. Well, visitation is eight till eight, and one, two, three, four... Oh, we've got five hours in that. I think we'll be all right there. I think we... I think we should be okay. We still haven't got a yard time, so maybe if I put, say, a yard time there, then another lock up, and a free, and then a extend the eat. Don't know if I like that or not. I don't know if we need the yard time. No, we don't. We don't need it. Let's just let's just let's. Just back up. Just undo, undo. There we go. The reason I'm doing lockup is I think it's going to be, um, I think it's going to be necessary actually. Keep them away from each other. Keep them in their uh, separate cells and such. Right. Okay. So we're going to receive five prisoners in a little, and just, just, just a moment. Just a moment. Let me speed that up to max speed. Wait until they get on with all the placements. There we go. There's that sorted. You can hear the power going on now. So, <laughs> let's finish placing the cookers and now this time it won't blow the grid off. So that's fine because it would have uh, exploderated the grid if we uh, didn't do that. There we go. And then we will now max speed the whole thing. And now prisoners are turning up which means all of these doors slam home. So, Oh, one thing I'm going to do is going to go to deployment and then to guards. And then I want to sign a guard patrol up and around the outside of the facility. Because that's one of the things I wanted to do. So I'll have one that goes there. And then another that goes around here. I don't really need it all the way down the back bit there, do I? No. I just need it around there. And actually, I will assign them. I will actually change that to dogs. Speaking of dogs... Wasn't that one? Wasn't that part dogs? I'm pretty. S yeah, I think that part was the dog bit, and I even said, "Yeah, I need to make sure that that's definitely uh, outdoors." Oops, I think I've messed that one up. Okay, we can. Uh, we, yeah, we'll sort that out later on. Um, all of these. <laughs> I just realised that all of these here, all of these, <laughs> these workmen are stuck because, um, yeah, I've messed it up. They need to place that. They can't get out. They've built themselves into a building. Oh, good grief. Let's put some jail doors there and there. And uh, start putting all these jail doors on the place. Solitary door. There we go. It's costing a little bit of money, but it is worth it. We're going to need it at some point, so might as well get on with it now. Jail doors all along here. And then we'll put that one there. Then I, what I'll do is I'll delete. Uh, I'll, I'll probably demolish that um, in a moment. Right, so... What's happening now is that all of our high-risk prisoners, Benjamin Speed, uh, Paul Page, Gareth Turner, Thomas Eaglebeak. Oh, we've had Eaglebeak before. Workbench Eaglebeak. There he is. And look at that. <laughs> Dressed up like a, I don't know, some sort of Shakespearean actor. And Lincoln Burroughs. 
We've got all of these uh, prisoners in, and have they got any traits that I should be aware of? I don't think so, but I also haven't got um, intelligence, and I haven't unlocked it either. I'm going to go for surveillance, and we'll go for some, I guess, tasers, body armor. We're going to get the full lot here, remote access, prison policy, mis uh, micromanagement. I was going to say mismanagement. We've already got mismanagement unlocked. Uh, <laughs> right, so we're going to get all that going on there. So what's happening is the prisoners are being brought in, and then they will be searched, and then we will be able to see exactly what they've got on them. So as you can see, they're getting brought in, they're getting strip searched, and if we find anything, then it gets taken off them. Fantastic. Let me just go to objects, and then to metal detector, and I want to put a metal detector, or a couple of metal detectors around the place, just because, uh, well, yeah, we need to scan the area for any contraband. There we go, so everybody's getting strip searched, and as you can see, the uniforms are getting picked up, they're going to move over, and they're going to get given an uniform. Fantastic. And danger level is now increasing. <laughs> they're saying they're unnecessarily searched recently. That's an interesting one. I would have thought that uh, the game would have classed that as a, you know, a, a necessary search, but uh, apparently not. Anyway, we'll go to large dildo. Put that in. And... Don't think there's any other doors. Don't think there is any other doors. Okay. This was going to be where we have CCTV and that sort of thing. But I might change that to this area back there. But I'm not sure. I'm not I'm not sure yet. Either way, what I do need is a bit of the old laundry. So I'm going to designate all that as laundry. I'm going to go to objects and laundry machines. And put in one, two, three. And we'll put a bench in. No, don't mean a bench. Table. Put a table in. And then we want iron boards, which iron boards are really dodgy to place, but uh, we can place them down the back there. Yeah, that's fine. And then laundry carts, we basically have a big row of them like that. <laughs> and that'll do the job quite happily. And I've actually ran the water pipe exactly where I needed to go. Unless it needs a small water pipe connection, we will have to see. Anyway, it is eat time, so as soon as the prisoners get taken to their cells, they'll immediately fly back out and then run down into here. And that is good. That is all good. Apart from these metal detectors are not yet plugged in, which means they're about as useless as a chocolate fire guard. Or a motor, or, or what's the what's the other um, what's the other sayings? Ashtray on a motorbike, yeah, things like that. <laughs> I'm sure people will be posting more in the comments. Right, so that is pretty much sorted there. What I do need to do is just connect that one little bit of power there to get the rest done, which we have now done. Excellent. Right, let's go to deployment and staff only. We need to designate a lot of this thing as staff only. So all of this, even reception is staff only, and I don't know how that's going to work, but we will see, and maybe even that bit is staff only. No, no, we don't need that bit of staff only, this outside bit though we do, there we go, that outside bit is staff only, and we want that as staff only, that as staff only. That, actually, no, that bit doesn't want to be staff only, but we'll see how we go with that one. That bit at the back is laundry. We could change to staff only, actually. Definitely the morgue. And the laundry we could because we do not want prisoners working in there. So we will keep that staff only. All of this will be staff only. Uh, no, we know we don't need to change that staff only. Parole's fine. The rest's fine. Common room, all that is good. And yes, I think that is about right. However, we don't yet have... Um, an interrogation area. So what I want to do, or what I can do, I guess, is split that up like so. And what that allowed me to do is place a jail door there and then a jail door there, okay? And then it means that I can have this as staff only, so it means that there is still staff only uh, areas before the armory, because obviously we do have an armory. Very important to keep that locked up and secure, especially with the prisoners that we have. But it also means that we can interrogate prisoners over there, which is something that we do want to do. Right, what I also want to do is go to materials, and then I want to go to concrete tiles, and I want to start placing some concrete tiles along these walkways here, because it's something that I generally forget about, or rather... Not really forget, but I just ignore it. I just go, yeah, we don't need it, fine. And we leave it. So I want to get them walkways in, at a minimum. Obviously, the walkways, well, 
all I'll do is allow prisoners to walk at a slightly increased, uh, a slightly faster pace, and that's all it is. And I think I'll actually do the same on the walkways at the back, obviously allowing the guards to patrol faster. But, slight problem, them guards are not really the right ones because we do want a, a canine unit. And to do that, I need to fix this problem back here. So I'm going to go to demolish walls and demolish... Um, actually, no, we don't want to demolish walls. What we want to do is actually bulldoze. We need to bulldoze all of that. <coughs> I'm thinking, was that supposed to be a dog area? And I'm pretty... Mm, not as confident as I was, but yeah, I think it, it can be a canine uh, unit, I guess. What I'm going to do as well, I'm going to run a wall all the way up the top there, because I do want to put in some road gates. Actually, do I want to put wall in? No, I don't want to put wall. I've just bought absolute crap load of wall, which I don't need now, which is a shame. Uh, I want to put a fence in. I will put... Actually, you know what? I might as well. I, if I've bought the wall... Is it all there? I think most of it's there. I'm going to put the fence in because I'll probably use the wall for something else later on. But um, I do want to change these to perimeter walls at some point. But I do want to get myself one of the old road gates. A couple of road gates actually. One there and then one down the bottom. This is going to be slightly problematic because we don't yet have any... Um any automatic door opening and such. There we go. Looks like the prisoners have actually uh gone on a bit of the old lock up. So that's fine. That guy's got an unknown reputation. So he does have one. He's got an unknown reputation as well. So there is... Well, there are some people around here that we sh maybe have to be wary of. But we'll see what happens. Right, so speed up to max speed while people crack on. So it looks like we've got a lot of the rooms up that we need to get up. So we've got the visitation here sorted. I might as well finish off the visitor tables or the visitation room because, well, it's pretty much just placed them for visitation tables. And then it's call, you know, call it job done. Uh, we have a total of 364 generic units of currency and are receiving minus 760 per day, which is not good. It's not good at all. So what I'm going to do is go to our, I guess, prisoners and I will take in another 15 and that will max out my prison, which is, uh, yeah, something I didn't really want to do at this point, but you know, needs must and all that, spent too much money. As you uh, can clearly see, but we'll see what happens. Oh, it looks like there's a problem back there. What we also have a problem with is uh, there's a big hole in the prison, and I need to get that fixed as soon as possible. Because otherwise, um, there's going to be a bit of a riot. Oh, there won't be a riot, but there'll be uh, breakouts at least. Right, so let me get rid of that bit there, and I don't... Actually, I can't get rid of that bit there. I was going to get rid of that little bit and then put a door in, which would make sense, but um, since I can't afford it, I don't think we'll bother, so... There we go. That'll be where our K9 unit will um, live in the dog crates and such. I, I mean, I don't mean the the actual uh, guard that wanders around and you know ferries the prisoners and uh, ferry, 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 you know holds the dog and whatnot. I, I don't think he sleeps inside the kennel kennel with the dog. But I mean, who knows? I'm, I'm not going to judge or anything like that. Uh, so we need two armed guards and two uh, two dog patrols. Um, yeah, two dog patrols and two armed guards. Which we will have. We're going to have armed guards going up and down this place. This is probably going to be, or it definitely is going to be, the most, um, I guess, heavily armed uh, and well, most well defended prison. I'm calling it, I'm saying well defended as if it's like an outpost. You know, it's like something from Fallout. No, it's not. Um, but it is going to be, you know, it, well, it could be, it could be a risky venture, this one. It could be. Either way, we do have prisoners, which is a good thing. Prisoners turned up. That is all good. Right. So, five prisoners. They have not yet destroyed everything, which is a good sign. We will be receiving some prisoners in a moment. I'm actually going to reduce it down to 10 because I don't think receiving the full 15 would be a... Ah, sack it. Let's just keep it at 15 and call it a day because it'll give us 15 grand. And that's what I've mentioned several times before, that sometimes, you know, you just do want to go, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take the money and I'll take the risk. So it's a gamble. It's a bit of a gamble. Either way, prisoners are here. Prison seems to be working, and hopefully it won't burn down anytime soon. Next episode, we will get another 15 prisoners and continue building. And we might start construction on the death row area. But we'll have to see about that. We'll see how this one goes. As always, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.